Messi, I'm sad that you've became a slower version of yourself. Hello guys in the first surprises of the World Cup after the Saudi national team managed to win over Argentina and in the presence of Messi. Yes, it is a night of history that the Saudis should be proud of because the victory came over an opponent who is a candidate to win the World Cup and has not lost for 36 international matches in a row. All condolences to the Argentine fans and the fans of one of the best players ever. Key video points. The structure of Argentina's possession with the ball and what are Scaloni's attacking ideas. Analysis of Saudi Arabia's goals and how they defended their goal. The most prominent things that the Argentina national team suffered and should avoid in the future if they want to reach the World Cup final. Possession of the Argentine varies between 4 0 6. 4, 1, 5, 3, 2, 5, 2, 3, 5. Example 1, 4, 0, 6 with Pards and Molina staying back with the two centre backs. Tagliavico advance on the far left and Demoria on the far right, while Gomez and Messi move down the flanks and into the half spaces to provide their teammates with the opportunity to create chances. De Paul steps up with Martinez to attack spaces. Scaloni relied on passing to one side to take advantage of the attacking superiority of the width of the field. Romero passes to Demoria behind Yasser Al Sharani, who is busy watching Messi. Demoria receives the ball and sets off despite being surrounded with Depaul in a 2v4 situation, however, Demoria spent his time intelligently with the ball and passed in the space at the right time to Martinez. He noticed Messi trailing the game and decided to get in quickly behind Lautaro. Already Messi arrived and corrected Martinez's mistake in receiving the ball. Messi shot but was tackled by the star of the meeting Mohamed al owais Example 2 in a 4-1-5 formation. Ped remains in the second line in front of the defense, while De Paul steps in to support the offense. Example 3-3-2-5 Molina stays with the center backs. Peds and Paul in the second line. As Tagliavico progresses on the far left for support with the attacking quartet. Example 4 in a 2-3-5 formation. Messi returns to midfield alongside Peds and Paul. As Molina and Taliafico advances on the wings. While De Moria and Gomez enter the half spaces. But the biggest obstacle faced by the Argentina national team in the match was the choice of the Saudi national team to play on the offside trap, was a bold and very surprising decision from their coach, Heve Renaud. Example 1 The first goal was cancelled after Messi fell into the offside trap. Example 2 Another goal cancelled for Argentina after Martinez fell into the offside trap. Example 3 Third goal cancelled after Martinez fell into an offside trap. However, there were some complex offensive plays. Example, Romero goes up with the ball on the right side 4 against 4. Romero carries the ball a few meters and at the same time D.I. Powell lands to attract Kana. Behind him to free Demoria in a 1 vs 1 situation with Yasser Al Sharani. Demoria received Romero's pass and launched the ball into space. Note the rise of Romero and his movement without a ball to the attacking space. He received a wonderful pass from Demoria in the space and made the cross, but Hassan Altambakti intercept the ball. The first half ended with Messi's goal from a penalty kick after a corner in which Pertz was tackled. While the second half was more exciting, Saudi Arabia continued with mediocre defense and playing on the offside trap. On the other hand, this had a great impact on Argentina's play which is the reservation in direct passing and trying to play the balls in ways that guarantee them not to fall into offside, and indeed we see this in the statistics of the first half, Argentine fell seven times in offside while in the second half only three times. Of course, this had an impact on the quality of the Argentine attacks, we saw most of the second half they were trying to look for De Moria or Messi, but there was a difference in the case of the duo De Moria was active while Messi made me sad because I saw him slow in executing his mental signals. Example 1, Messi is away from the ball area, contrary to his habits of leading attacks. De Moria with De Paul and Molina in a 3 vs 4 situation. De Moria passes to Molina and moves to receive the pass. De Moria receives the ball and drives into the crowd in a great way. 
until Messi showed up and passed the ball to him. Messi with a great touch placed the ball into the space for Martinez. Messi sets off to follow the attack and receives a pass from Martinez. But the sad thing is that Messi could not quickly overcome himself and his opponent Mohamed Cano, who snatched the ball at the last moment. Example 2 Enzo Fernandez plays for De Moria on the line. What is known here for Messi is to attack the space between the lines to position himself in his favorite place zone 14. But he didn't, so De Moria decided to play the cross ball towards Lautaro Martinez, but in the end sort, he did the reverse coverage before Alvarez. Also, don't forget that Javier Renard focused a lot on putting more than one player on Messi to reduce his contact with his teammates during possession, as we see in the pictures. It would have been an easy game for Messi, but when he's at 100%. Note here that he can score from one touch while the goalkeeper is out of his goal. But Messi preferred dribbling. Then his great consumption of time on the ball made me see Messi slower than Messi we all know. Because Messi, when he is fully ready, he translates these moments with exceptional speed. Standing instead of dribbling and holding the ball almost guaranteed him the goal. But his delay in implementation allowed the Saudi players to create numerical intensity and cut the ball. Notice them guarding their goal with five players to cover behind the progress of goalkeeper Mohamed al -Owais. They wanted to enter history from the gate of this victory. How Saudi Arabia scored goals. The first goal they started to put pressure on Messi and cut the ball, then the offensive shift with a quick pass from Abdullah al morki towards the attacking duo Nawaf, Saleh Sherry. Nawaf couldn't receive the ball and luckily it goes to Saleh Shari. Here Romero handled badly he should have. Intervening directly to intercept the ball by narrowing the distance between him and Saleh Shari. But Romero decided to go backwards with a physical posture that makes him bounce back slowly, already he turned back slowly and allowed Saleh Shari to excel and finish the attack by shooting the ball at the left of the goalkeeper Martinez. The second goal was no coincidence why. Because the Saudi national team was directly playing direct balls from the goalkeeper in the second half towards. Feroz Burikan, Saad Abdel Karim. Because it was Argentina's weakness in the air, where there is a short couple. Tagliavico Gomez. Example 1. Example 2. And he saw Scaloni switch them, but it happened after Saudi Arabia advanced in the result. Back to the goal direct ball from Mohamed al Owais. It arrives at Faros and beats Gomez and Taliafico in the air. The ball falls in favor of Saad Abdul Karim. Saad sets off with his colleagues for an offensive transformation. Saad plays a cross ball intercepted by Romero, but unfortunately for him, it arrived at the edge and was tackled by Romero again. The ball arrived at Salem Aldosari, who succeeded in surpassing the Argentine players. De Moria noticed that he could have distracted the ball, but he didn't, and then Salem Aldosari continued to control the ball and dodge and managed to score the goal with a very strong shot in the far left corner. Then we saw Argentina trying to attack by playing crosses, but the defense and the Saudi goalkeeper Mohamed al Owais showed great skill in countering attacks. Example 1 An interstitial ball from De Paul arrives at Otamendi. The cross plays up when Lisandro Martinez shoots the ball but collides with Talia Vico and changes direction however is tackled by the goalkeeper. Example 2 Another inter ball from De Paul at Messi. He plays the cross, but the defender quickly stepped into cover before Lautaro Martinez intervened. A cross ball from the center of the field and goalkeeper Mohamed al Owais comes out to cover in a great way. Scaloni resorted to accidental balls in the last minutes to exploit De Moria's activity on the field at the far end of the line. Example 1 De Moria crossed for Messi but was tackled by Mohamed al Owais. Example 2 De Moria's cross when Alvarez tackles her back goalkeeper. We can sum up the match in that the Argentina national team was the best offensively and the worst defensively. Because he produced a lot of chances and just needed a good finish and some luck to overcome the defense and the Saudi goalkeeper. While Saudi Arabia played a very great match compared to their potential and deserved to write history. Thanks for watching.
Don't forget to like and leave your opinion on the match and subscribe to the channel to keep our tactical communication. Goodbye. Thank you.